What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys some cool iOS 13 tweaks. So if you're jaybroken on iOS 13 and or lower, because most of these tweaks were for 11 and 12 as well, then you guys should like some of these tweaks. So let's put this phone to the side and let's begin. The first one is called Firefly. Firefly basically, as you can see the dock, you see it's glowing and the phone app and the message app is glowing as well that's because I have like a, a notification you know when you get this little red dot on the, on the app like right here now it just glows so every app that's glowing would have a red dot right there and the dock is glowing and also the folder is glowing because I set it up that way so if I go down here if I go to Firefly it glows you can see purple and teal that's what I have set up and you guys could go in there see the folder glows purple I mean, all that stuff, the dark glow purple, and you guys can set it up just like that, enable it or disable it, you can see, just like that. And that one is called Firefly. The other one is called Prism. Prism is a control center tweak. Look at that right there. I think it looks really nice. It's nice and dark. Everything is switched up. It's your brightness right here. I mean everything works you got your weather good long press on there do your thing and there's actually themes you could download in Cydia for Prism so definitely check it out and the other one is called Yoban Pro Yoban Pro is basically a tweet that lets you that gives you respring let's just let's, let's, let's demonstrate it so if I swipe up with two fingers I get this right here. I could do a fast respring, respring, LDR restart, LD restart, enter in a safe mode, clear cache, GPS and enabled, and all that kind of stuff. You could disable that. You could just hit not now. So if you need those options for every now and then, you could download Yoban Pro and do that, and you get it right there. So yeah and the other ones I'm gonna show you guys on my iPhone 7 because most of these tweak works on different devices so the first one is called auto close folder auto close folder is this one right here if you open up an app open up go in a folder open up an app and you exit out it'll just go back to the home screen usually this is what will happen I'll open up an app a folder and let's open up that and I close it it'll go back to the folder but now after I open up the app and I close it it just goes back to the home screen so it's called auto close folders and then the other one is called Cartella Cartella is a tweak for your folders so as you can see if you want that nice looking folder instead of this one right here download Cartella you could mess with it however you like you could go on the settings And you could enable it, you could customize it however you like. I mean, you see, I have hide folder background and all that kind of stuff. So let's download it, mess with it, and come up with something you like. So that one is called Cartella. The other one is called Cylinder. Cylinder is very simple, just that that gives you animation whenever you switch pages. So let's go back out here. So you could go over here and these are all the styles you could do right here so cut and roll away curl and roll away now you see that right there I mean so that one is called cylinder everybody knows it so yeah check it out and the other one is called gestures gestures is basically if you want the iPhone 10 gestures on a regular device then you could download gestures 11 and it'll work so you can see I just swipe up and I go to the that page if I want to close the app I just do it real fast and I close the app you know what I mean so yeah if you want those gestures nothing to configure download it and you could have the iPhone 10 and 11 gestures on the non supported devices and then the other one is called lock droid lock droid is this tweak right here, very simple. 
Go to open your phone. Come on, use my fingerprint. And it doesn't recognize your fingerprint. Then it asks you for the the pat the pattern. Usually it would ask you for a passcode, but because I have a lot droid, now I just hope oh, that won't work. That won't work either. Boom. And now it's open. So that one is called Lot Droid, real awesome tweet. The other one is called Nude Doc. So if you want to get rid of the dock, just like I see this one has a dock, it's glowing and all that. If you want something cleaner, you could download Nude Doc. Nothing to configure, just download it and it will work. Nude Doc, pretty awesome tweet. The other one is called PackSade. PackSade is a lock screen tweak. So if I go to the lock screen, you can see the clock is huge and it's to the left. So if I want to edit that, make it a little bit different, let's go here. Download it, it's called PackSade, and boom, you could get in there, enabled. I could hide the date, you could use custom alignment. See, I got it on bold, bolder text. They have bold and you have bolder, that's why mine is so big, and I have mine to the left. So that's why it looks like that. So that one is called PackSade. The other one is called Quit All. This one is for mainly the devices for like the iPhone 10 and up because. This one lets you kill all the apps in the background. But if I double tap with the home button, it doesn't show the clear all thing. It shows it for like a second and then goes away. But when I use the gestures, you can see now it's right up there. I could hit clear all, or does hit clear, and all the apps. Hold up. Clear. And all the apps are gone. So that one is called quit all but it basically works better for the devices without the home button but maybe an update will come that will fix this little problem with the home button so yeah the other one is called Taptic Calc Taptic Calc basically is for your calculator and because now I have these gestures I don't get my control center so I just basically have to go into let's type it in so every time you press a button or a number you get a nice little tactic feedback with this right here. That's all it does. It just gives you tactic feedback on your calculator. And then the other one is called Cask. Cask is a pretty cool one if you want this animation right here. Boom. Oh, man. And this would also work in Cydia and certain other apps. Let's, let's find it. Where is it at? Scroll down. Cask 2. So you could do the animation, the duration, you could do stretch, let's do slide. Now you can see the difference. All right. So that one is called Cast 2. And then the other ones I'm going to show you guys is basically fun tweaks. Nothing really crazy, but it's just fun. It has no, no productivity value to it is just cool to show off for a little bit so the first one I'm going to show you guys is called ants let's turn it on and after a while then you do the respin you should see ants crawling on your device hold up a scroll down to another one snow overlay enable that one you see your device starts snowing and then another one is called where is it uh, gravitation Gravitation. Let's enable that one. Another one is called Mobile Goose. Enable that one. Now you can see there's a goose on your device. So let's go back out here. Where is ants? Let's respring. So yeah. So there you go now guys. So these are called ants, gravitation, mobile goose, and snow overlay. So you see the goose right there just running around. You can see the ants and you see the snow falling. And then the gravitation, I think if you shake your device, now you see that all the apps are like falling all over the place. All kind of stuff like that. And 
This one is alright, but the other one I think was better. Like to get these go to go away, you just tap on them and they go away. I mean, so if you guys want some fun tweet, download this one on somebody's device that they don't even know and just leave it there. You can see the ants just moving around. You can see the snow, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there you go, guys. It's Sprints with ATP 101. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace. Thanks for watching.